This video is brought to you by Fixio PC Cleaner, the butterscotch recommended software to fix Windows errors and improve PC performance. Visit fixio.com slash butterscotch for your free PC scan now. Hey, welcome to Miss Download. I'm Cheryl Poirier. It's Mac time. As you can tell by my great outfit, I did accessorize it with a neat little hat, though. Hey, have you ever sat down to do some creative planning, and you just end up with lots of sheets of paper with illegible scribbles being loosely interconnected by colored marker lines? I've done this many times, but thankfully, no more. MindNote is a handy little program for your Mac that helps you make sense of your mind dribblings. Essentially, the program lets you organize your thoughts as you think them. So let's start off with an idea. Now, we can use MindNote for a variety of projects, web design or trip planning, say. However, I like to use it for planning out narratives for potential books or films. So let's call this project, let's see, uh, a space life because I love space. From here, just click on the plus symbol on the right hand side of the bubble to add a new branch and start plotting. We'll call this Act 1, of course. Now, subdivide Act 1. You can continually subdivide Act 1 with different ideas. It's all about a guy and a girl who become astronauts together and go into space. And once we've done Act 1, we're going to branch out into, you guessed it, Act 2, and you can create sub-branches from here as well. Boy and girl go into space, get lost in space, meet alien life forms. It's all going to be so interesting. I'm not going to let the whole cat out of the bag for you, though. Now, the thing that makes this so much better than paper is that at any time, you can move your branches around, be it individually or in bulk. See, we could move that up. Let's move this over here. Hey, let's just move that right over there for you. Oh, let's, let's move Act 2 right over there. So you can move them around, or you can actually delete branches as well by clicking on it and hitting delete. There we go. We'll just delete all of Act 2 because, let's face it, it sucked anyway. Now, you can branch off from any one idea by simply clicking the Add symbol that appears next to that branch. Likewise, you can go back to your main idea and add to it at any time as well. There we go, new node. Add and subtract branches also by using the plus and minus keys up in the top left hand corner. You can customize your mind map by selecting the line or idea you want and edit and select the color wheel or typeface icon at the top right hand corner. You can change the color of the text or the branch itself, likewise the font if need be. Now, there is a free version of MindNode that comes with some limited functionality, but more than enough for the average user to plot out their ideas. The pro version, which I'm using here, gives you some extra goodies. Now, here is a file that my producer Paul made to outline his website. As you can see, some of the added features of the Pro allow him to make dotted connected lines here. He can also Im you can also add images and embed med media, like right here. He's got a little media file here. Let's see what it is. I'm actually kind of afraid. I know Paul and his sense of humor. Starts off with a phone call. Pornography. Oh, he's going to swear for sure. I know it. Likewise, there is also a full screen function. Whee! There you go. Now, there's also the availability to share the file with the MindNode iPhone app. They're all very neat features at a very reasonable price of $24.95. So get MindNode to organize your thoughts because it's so much cleaner than a whiteboard. Just ask the producers of Lost. Hey, head on over to Butterscotch.com, check out me, all my Butterscotch friends. And speaking of friends, be sure to head on over to Hover.com because it's the easiest place to register a domain name. And if you use the promo code at the bottom of the screen, you'll get 10% off your next domain registration. Isn't that awesome? I think it's pretty cool. I think I just spit on Michael's computer. Shh, don't tell him. I have to clean it before he finds out. See you next time. <laughs>